Dear students, the environmental economics is now become very important and popular subjects to be analyzed because only after 1990 not only the economists but the people of the world have realized to know about the subject environmental economics because the expanding economy of the world is distracting our environment and also our ecosystem of our earth. For example, deforestation, depletion of groundwater level, biodiversity, different types of pollution are the major problems to be studied and to be solved. Now I am going to discuss the four major global environmental issues such as global warming, ozone depletion, acid drain and deforestation. Let me explain one by one with number of examples. Now I am going to discuss the first and foremost problem that is the global warming. The global warming is otherwise known as greenhouse effect. The main source of global warming is carbon dioxide. Actually the carbon dioxide produces from the burning of fossil fuels. It is very clear that 265 billion carbon dioxide is produced annually. Next to the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbon are the main sources of greenhouse effect or the global warming. The global warming continues, there is a high possibility of increase in temperature around 1.5 to 4.5 degree centigrade per year. Effects of global warming. Number one is because of the increase in temperature, level of sea will increase and it will cause over flooding and make many homeless and particularly it will destroy the fertile agricultural lands. Number two, soil moisture will be declined, amount of rainfall will be also reduced in the absence of required rainfall, the agriculture will be affected totally. Number three, there is a more possibility of climatic changes. And number five, when the temperature increases, the mosquitoes whom spread diseases like malaria, yellow fever and particularly dengue, these are the threats to health by global warming. The second major problem is ozone depletion. You know very well, there are three spheres above the earth. They are stratosphere, toposphere and ionosphere. Apart from these, all the three spheres, there is a ozone layer. The ozone layer is very important for the survival of man, plants and animals. But unfortunately, now we are producing more chlorofluorocarbon, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and other gases which produce more temperature. When the temperate gases going towards the ozone layer, they penetrate the ozone layer completely. What are all the causes of ozone penetration or ozone layers penetration? They are when the temperate gases penetrates the ozone layer, the infrared as well as the ultraviolet rays from the sun directly reach the earth and cause the following problems. Number one is when the ultraviolet and the infrared rays reach the earth from the sun without any filtration, they are causing number one different type of cancer not only to the human beings but also to the plants as well as animals. For example, in the case of human being, they are causing blood cancer, skin cancer. In the case of women, the ultraviolet and the infrared rays cause uterus cancer. 
they are also causing cancer to the plants as well as to the animals. If the ozone depletion continues, there is a possibility of non-production not only in the case of human being but also in the case of plants as well as animals. How can you solve the problem of ozone depletion? To be frank, the air conditions and the refrigerator, they are producing chlorofluorocarbon. The production of chlorofluorocarbon alone causes ozone depletion. Can you stop the production of air conditioners and refrigerators? Yes, this is possible and sometimes this is not possible. So, now the developed countries have introduced the bio refrigerator and at the same time the developing countries they are trying to reduce the use of refrigerators and air conditions. The third important problem is acid rain. Nowadays this is the major threat not only to the developing countries but also to the developed countries. What is acid rain? It refers to decrease in the pH value of water. How acid rain formates? The answer is number of industries are producing or emitting smoke such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbon and other chloride contents. When the emissions of chlorine, sulfur and other pollutants when they mingle with the clouds they are forming the dilute soup of acid. When there is a possibility of rain they come out in the form of acid rain. What are all the effects of acid rain? Let me explain it briefly. At the time of acid rain we are able to identify dilute hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid, nitric acid as well as acetic acids also. The following are the effects of acid rain. Number one, aquatic ecosystems are seriously affected by acid rains through its impact on reproductive cycle. For example, all the female organisms when they exposed to acid rain, they fail to produce eggs. Given if it is produced, they do not develop. In the case of plants, due to the increase of acidity in the soil, there is a more possibility of absence of growth. Number two, acid rain causes damage to all sorts of buildings, particularly they damage the famous and oldest historical monuments like Acropolis of Athens, Cologne Cathedral of West Germany in India. I can say this is Taj Mahal and other a very good monuments of world India. In the case of human beings, acid rain causes skin cancer and other intestinal problems. The fourth and major problem is deforestation. Actually, in the context of global environmental issues, deforestation plays a vital role. According to the forest and environment policy of world, 33% of the total geographical area should be covered by the forest. In the case of India, unfortunately, it is only 19% because we are cutting the forest indiscriminately. This is only the basic and main reason for deforestation. Let me explain what are all the significance of forest in the first part and I will explain what are all the causes of deforestation. In the last session, I will explain what are all the solution so as to stop the deforestation process. Number one, forest plays a significant role in the case of economic development. Forests provide food, fuel, fodder and other industrial products such as honey, herbs and resins etc. Number two, they prevent soil erosion because when there is a heavy rain in the absence of forest, 
they remove nutrients from the top soil it leads to loss of soil fertility and it leads to desertification also the third point is forest reduces air pollution water pollution and particularly the noise pollution the fourth one is forest protects against the physical violence of wind because when we don't have forest coverage around our agricultural land there is a possibility of heavy velocity of wind which will not only reduce the agricultural production as well as they are leading to soil erosion also forest is the home of plants and animals here i would like to say forest is the sanctuary of rare plants as well as rare animals also forest cause more rainfall forest play a dual role also here the rainfall cycle as generator of rainfall and as receptor of rainfall forest is much useful for paper production process further forest is an essential tool for communication commerce education and government these are all the significance of forest now let me explain the causes of deforestation there are number of factors responsible for deforestation the first and foremost factor is increasing of population number 2 extension of urban areas so as to increasing population number 2 firewood collection by the poor it is happening in the context of developing countries where the people those who are living without awareness about the environment or about the forest they are indiscriminately cutting the trees and it leads to deforestation the third factor is forest fire it is not only happening in india or not only happening in developing countries now it is happening throughout the world for example at california and some other areas of the world where the forest is available in dense they are also destroyed by the forest fire it is because of the absence of people awareness as well as increasing global temperature the fourth one is when there is no forest coverage there is a possibility of heavy flooding also here i would like to remind you one thing in the absence of forest how it is possible to get more rainfall the answer is when there is a absence of forest there is a possibility of over flooding also because the climate is used to change in the absence of forest the last point is termites destroy forest coverage also because we are not properly guarding the forest or we are not properly protecting the forest coverage that is why the termites are destroying it completely so these are all the causes for deforestation now you can ask me a question what are all the effects of deforestation the effects are as follows the first effect is albedo effect albedo effect is defined as when the sun rays are reaching the earth they are absorbed by the forest coverage or trees in the urban areas when there is no possibility of forest coverage or dense trees the sun rays straight away reaches the earth surface and reflects in the atmosphere when they are reflecting in the atmosphere there is a high possibility of increase in temperature when the temperature is increasing automatically it will absorb the humidity in the wind also and there is no humidity we are affected by the more temperature this is known as albedo effect the number 2 effect is less rainfall you know very well i have already stated 
the 33 percent of the total geographical area should be covered by the forest when it is decreasing there is a possibility of less rainfall when there is a possibility of less rainfall automatically the agriculture will be affected particularly in developing countries when the agriculture is going to be affected there is a hamper in economic development also due to deforestation the global temperature will increase when the global temperature is increasing the nuclei of the plant cells will be condensed because of this condensation there will be no production or there will be no growth in turn in some time we used to, to see only the growth of plant or growth of any other unwanted things but there will be no yield this is only the reason for deforestation the next effect is global warming i have already explained this global warming the basic reason for global warming is only due to deforestation the another factor is over flooding it has also already explained that even in the absence of forest there is a possibility of over flooding because of the climatic changes when there is a over flooding there is a possibility of soil erosion but people are not at all bothering about the soil erosion when soil erosion occurs the top soil as well as the fertility of the soil will be eroded it leads to desertification of the particular fertile land these are all the effects of deforestation and the last thing is each and every problem has its own solution in the case of global environmental issues also they have a very good solution some solutions are common and some solutions are entirely different but the solution should be given only by our own environmentalist particularly our own people the solution can be given very easily but this is very difficult to follow before giving the solution to overcome the problem of global environmental issues let me sum up the things what i have explained to you so far so far we have discussed the major global environmental issues to remind you there are four global major environmental issues they are number one global warming number two ozone depletion number three acid rain and number four deforestation let me first sum up the problem global warming you know very well the global warming is due to the production of carbon dioxide methane carbon monoxide and other temperate gases the effects of global warming is number one temperature change or i can say climatic change number two there is a possibility of seasonal change also what we are experiencing now for example if you take tamil nadu during may we are getting rainfall and during september we are receiving more and more sunlight and we are receiving more and more temperature the third effect is rise in sea level here i would like to stress one point because of the increase in population as well as increasing livestock there is a heavy pressure on land because of the heavy pressure on land there is a possibility of earthquake which leads to tsunami also what we have experienced two to three months back and we are fearing for the same effect also this is only due to global warming when the global warming is increasing actually the sea level will increase and the sea will intrude into the village or even in the town area when the sea is intruding the agricultural land will be spoiled and there will be a heavy loss in production which leads to the problem of unemployment even to the survival of the people also at last when 
the global warming is increasing you know very well when there is a heavy temperature the mosquitoes which spread the diseases like dengue white fever yellow fever will grow more and more this is the maximum health hazard caused by the global warming the second problem is ozone depletion it has also been explained yearly when we are talking about the ozone depletion the solution is to prevent the or even stop the production of air conditioners and refrigerators in the case of developing or developed countries whether the production of such thing is possible yes definitely it is possible when we are going to reduce the production of these things automatically the production of chlorofluorocarbon will be also reduced here i would like to stress a point nowadays the developed countries they are not interested to produce neither the air conditioners nor the refrigerators now they have switched over to produce the bio fresh refrigerator in which they are telling that the chlorofluorocarbon is not available but still this is a suspicious one but in the case of under developed countries due to the reduction in prices people are using more and more refrigerators and air conditioners which is highly harmful to ozone layer as well as to the environmental ecosystem also the third problem is the acid rain i have already noted the acid rain contains hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid and other diluted acids when we are receiving the acid rain the agricultural fields will be destroyed by means of either in an increase of alkalinity or in increase of salinity actually we can call the soil as a fertile when the alkalinity and salinity is available in 50 50 ratio if any one of the factor is going to be reduced automatically the soil will become infertile or non fertile sometimes the acid rain leads to erosion of famous monuments also here the main point is you should have seen the taj mahal 10 to 15 years back it was highly beautiful after 1990 the beautiness of taj mahal is slowly reducing and there is a pores available in the marbles of taj mahal the same case is happening to cathedral of uh, europe and some other monuments of some other countries for example white house or red square and some other important places of the world the fourth major problem is deforestation i have already cleared what are all the causes what are all the effects and what will be the stage of deforestation if it continues for more than 10 years that is up to 2225 so far we have discussed the major global environmental issues let me give the solution for all the above four major global environmental problems dear friends i have already told you each and every problem has its own solution particularly in the context of environmental issues these are all the problems created by human being so there is a definite solution to solve the above all the four problems let me tell you the solution very simply and very easily see i have already told you for all the problem the major factor is production of carbon dioxide carbon monoxide chlorofluorocarbon and other temperate gases you can ask me so as to stop all the damages whether it is possible to stop up the production or to close all the industries which are all causing pollution acid rain global warming or other ozone depletion process i can say this is not at all necessary to close down all the industries and we can put a restriction to the production of such a kind of harmful gases because after 
the world countries have attended the Kyoto Protocol and the Rio de Janeiro Environmental Conference. There they have come to a conclusion that all the countries should not to stop the production of CO2 but they can reduce the amount of production. If it continues, if they are going to follow up the solution, there will not be a global environmental major problems. As a lost solution, I can tell you one thing, so as to prevent the deforestation, we have to concentrate on more afforestation process. In India also, we have implemented the afforestation process such as social forestry, community forestry and other forestry program and we have got success in it also. For the purpose of our so as to get the success we need only one thing that thing is public awareness and public participation. The government cannot implement all the programs or the government cannot take all the preventive measures. The public is the main factor to take follow up action or to help the government to avoid all kind of environmental problems. This is very easy whenever you are going to have a awareness and take up a participation process in this regard. Thank you very much.